Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So it's the morning of day 60 and we're going to do a couple of things today. If you notice down the bottom left hand corner on my screen, you'll see we have 100% radiation protection now. I was able to make enough mods last night. We only needed four. I'm wearing the power armored legs. So we only needed four. It cost me 15 gen uh, generic schematics each, so I had to go buy a bunch from the trader. Uh, and I also made an another blessed metal mod, which I put on the pistol. Uh, just in case we need it when we're out there. We do we do already have armor shredders on the uh, um, the M4 and the pistol already, so we got those going. So we're going to go out to the trader in the wasteland city, but before we do that, we're going to go and see if we can dig up these treasures. Now, actually, before we go, let's grab all of this stuff. Because if we find traders on the way, we want to sell it. We got somebody outside here, too. Let's just go around and deal with them. Oh, we got a few people on the outside. Oh, looks like it was a wandering horde. Where are you? Okay, you're done. Come on, you. She's done. Oh, well. One asshole, get over here. I shouldn't really be fucking around with this guy, but... Fuck you. One for me, none for you. Alright. A little bit of stuff. A little bit of stuff, not enough to go back inside for, so let's get out of here. Uh, what was I gonna do? I can't remember. We're already down 27 rounds, which isn't too bad, I guess. Uh, we're gonna get in the car. So we gotta go south to get those treasures. And hopefully, it's a quick dig. Alright, so the first one is just out there. I should have I brought the motorcycle today, but it just would feel weird taking the motorcycle out into the radiated biome. Oh man, really? Can I get through here? Come on. Just get up the hill. That's all I want you to do. And then the rest, we'll deal with later. Beautiful. Where is it? Like right here somewhere. There you are. Alright, let's get this one dug up. Wow, it's like right here. That's awesome. Ah, oh, shit, no! Ah, I broke like five lockpicks. And then I thought, oh, I'll just dig around it and, you know, like I normally do, do a couple things and then go back and try to pick it again. And I, ah. I broke all the supports by accident. Oh, well. Off to the next one. It's a good thing these things are so close to each other. Alright, there's this one. Okay, not so bad. Let's hope, let's hope we get lucky like we did the last time. There we go. This one took a little longer. This time, don't break any stuff around it. These ones aren't so bad because they're sitting on stone most of the time. But the last one that I broke, it was like, I was sitting on sand and I accidentally broke the block underneath it. So, eh, this was only two, this one only took two uh, lockpicks, so that's not bad. <sighs> okay, well. Wasn't worth wasting my time for, though. Let's back out of here. Man, it reminds me of my old pickup truck. I just Ford Ranger when I was younger. And it was funny because a friend of like it was only a two wheel drive. A friend, a friend of mine asked me, "Oh, can you go off roading with that thing?" I'm like, "Yep. If I can get into it, and get into something, I can usually back out of it." The thing had way more power backing up than it did going forward. Plus, I, I put big tires on the back of the thing, so it was like had plenty of grip. Ah, man, I should just run over there. Where is it? Yeah, you definitely need the motorcycle for off-roading, because this is garbage. Oh, 
Fuck it. We're going to do a three... St or, sorry, we're going to do a 180. We're driving back. We're going to back through this stuff. At least the plow doesn't um, get caught on anything. Although we did lose the sound, unfortunately. Come on, baby. Should just be over here. It's so weird driving backwards with no sound. It's like, an electric, like driving an electric car. Ooh. Come on. All right, we're going the rest of the way on foot. Bring it in for a hug. And you, two, oh, glancing hug. There you go. All right, let's finish this up. Let's finish this one up and get to that trader. Well, hopefully we find Caitlyn. I have no idea where she is. She's up there somewhere. Ooh, did we find it right away? Nope. So last night before we left, it just keeps going to the center here. Um, I said about 2,500 coil rounds to go. Another 750 regular 762 rounds to go. So we'll have ammo for Horde Knight. We might be going all coil on Horde. I don't know yet. And keep the 762 for when we're out puttering about. And then if we're going to take on big uh, POIs like we did with that last one. Uh, it's over here somewhere. Then we'll uh, switch back to the coil. But I had made like... I didn't realize I had made almost... Um, I don't know how many coil batteries. Like what? 2550 I think. Coil batteries. Uh, oh, there it is. All right, that was the third try, so not bad. Ah, crap, really. Scrap that. Ooh. Oh, it's a semi-auto. All right, well, we got a little bit more to sell. Not much. Ah, uh, you don't deserve a hug. I'm out of here. You know, I was so excited about getting out of here and going to uh, hopefully find that uh, Trader Caitlin in the uh, wasteland that I forgot to harvest all my crops again. I mean, we got enough food. I don't have to really worry about it, but it's one of those things I say I got to do stuff. I should just write a list down. Have you done this? Have you done that? Have you made ammo? Have you repaired the base yet? Have you made food? Have you harvested your crops? Question marks. All right, we took the shortcut to this road here. All right, this is going to take us to the wasteland. I'm going to pause here for a second, though, because what I want to do is go ahead and use a couple of these. If we have to get off the bike, then I want to make sure that uh, we're good to go if we have to get into a fight here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Those can go in there. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. All the stuff we're going to keep can go in there. Ah, uh, we can sell that. Don't need those. A two times scope. We'll hang on to that. Parts. That stuff. That stuff. Alright, we're good to go. Aha, you missed me. Alright, so the things I know about the wasteland is that, like, I know a lot of brutal mobs can spawn out there. I did watch Druidal's playthrough, so I know there's like brutal mobs that can spawn out there. And apparently there's supposed to be a portal out there somewhere too. I have no idea where that is, but... And like tons of demons can spawn around it, so I gotta be very careful about that. All we're gonna do is take the road out here, right? Hopefully find a trader, and then get back for now. I wanna be able to, well, Here's the other thing too, if it's if it's not that bad, then I'll go around and hit up some boulders, because we gotta find titanium. I think it's plutonium and uranium as well. Alright, here we go. Going into the wasteland. Yeah man, we're surviving. Alright. Now, uh, that road goes south. This road looks like it goes into a town, so let's go into town here. If we can. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. You notice the stop sign there on the side of the road? Wait, this does not go into the town, does it? I don't know. That doesn't look like a town either. It's the POI. Let's go this way. Um, so, the new uh, the new maps, Kane has actually uh, 
added a bunch of stop signs in the actual towns, like at the street corners, which is kind of cool. I don't know if he went through and did it all on his own or what, but I gotta say the new map looks pretty cool. I wish I had started on that one. Like all the POIs are nice and tightly like packed together in the city. The city is like way bigger. At least the one I started off in that I was goofing around on. Um, ah! Let's not sandwich our car in here, thank you. Come on. Still haven't encountered anything out here yet. Like, creature-wise, that is. But yeah, anyway, the new map's pretty cool, I gotta say. Alright, um, stay on the main road. It's bound to take us to a town or something, hopefully. I don't see a trader out here, though. I don't, here's the other question too, is I, I don't know if the trader's actually in a town or on a side road. Because I know they can still spawn on side roads. So if the trader out here is on a side road, whoops, sorry that's my bad. Uh, if the trader is still on a, on a side road, then we're going to have to spend a lot of time like looking back and forth to see if we can find her. I don't know if I want to get caught out here at night. We still haven't made a watch yet either. It's weird, like, I wish I knew what time it was, like, as I'm playing, but then it's like, I, I don't really care. You know, it's like, it's nice to know, but, eh. It's kind of fun not knowing. Wait, is this for the end? No, it doesn't. Oh, come on. Give me something. All right, looks like we're coming up on a town here. It's kind of nice. Hopefully there's something here. Yeah, it looks pretty small. Okay, let's follow this around. Is this a T? Ah, shit. Nope, 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 nope. That's what I was talking about. Nope, 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 nope. Get the fuck out of here. Not going that way. That's just dumb. All right, let's go see if Caitlyn's around. Ah, fucking Bernie's. Let's go see if Caitlyn's around here. Come on, be in this town. Nope, not going over there. Not going to do it. We're not armed for that today. We're armed to take on a handful of guys here or there, but that's it. Yeah, like there's somebody living in that house. I don't see her here. Oh, a couple of construction sites. Devil House, Bart Simpson House. Okay, it's all quiet here. What do we got down here? Nothing and nothing. And nothing. Drugs and guns. I think there could be something over here. to get used to drifting this. You gotta kind of let up on the throttle as you're going around the corner. I usually have it on full accelerate and as you're going as you take the corner you let up on the throttle. Just go normal speed and it seems to want to respond a little better that way. Um, yeah I say that now. Marginally better. All right now where I don't think there's a trader here. So, 
the road forks that probably ends there small bookshop it's weird I just said like small bookshop and it's like any place I go into now is gonna have like just nightmares now the question is were those demons down here? Now, where did I see them? Over here, right? Did I? Looks like more of a town down that way. Flaming boys. Come on. Oh, hey. You know what? I totally recognize this from Jaboodle's playthrough now. I think we're on the same map as he is. Damn it! Because I think this is the end bunker here. Which means, let's take this road south. Which means I think I know where the trader is now. Let's take that road south. Yeah, I was kind of hoping it wasn't on that map. There's that fucking portal. Fuck you guys. Get off. Oh, there's another one. Holy shit. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. There's two of them. I thought there was only supposed to be one. Okay, well, that's not for today. Alright, I was hoping that I would have to, like, search around and find Caitlyn, but based on this map, I kind of I kind of know where she, where she is. There's two of them, I think, on this map. Which is kind of sad, but it's true. We're going to go back this way, because I think there's one up this way. We'll go to this one. There's one in a, in a town south of here too, I think, but there's one on the side road, so we'll take the side road one. We'll go see her, and if we can't get what we want out of her, come on, then we'll head over to the other one. So, one of the things I'm looking for today, besides hopefully finding solar panels, is a laser workbench. Um, you might be able to buy it, I think, from Caitlin. Either that or like a laser multi-tool. I don't know if I can actually get it from her. But you need a laser workbench and a laser multi-tool in order to be able to make a laser workbench, apparently. And you find like the laser workbench like in one of those like end game POI places. So you're better off just trying to, yeah, here she is. Better off just trying to buy one, you know? Okay. That's the way we're going back. I don't know if that ends there or not. I have no idea if that just, just ends over there or if that... Yeah, we'll probably... Oh, we'll go back to the road here. So we came that way, right? See, the road goes south here too, right? So it might hook up over there. I don't know. I think we're on the other side of the map from where Jerudal was, so... Which is good, at least we were able to experience a different playthrough than him. Alright. Nothing you there? You have a great day now. You have a great day. Let's see, let's loot this place first here. What we want. I mean, I could break it all apart, but... Not gonna waste my time. Ooh, you got a good vantage point, eh? Too bad we couldn't find this trader first. This would have been a nice place to try and fortify. I mean, look at the guards in the front wall here. Like, you'd really have to fortify the front wall so it didn't collapse on them. Seems pretty quiet out here, though, in the wasteland. They got a lot of guards here. Holy crap. I guess that's why they need all these beds. Alright, that's nothing. That's nothing. Okay, you got all this. That works. 
A little bit of stuff in there. Ooh, nail gun we can sell. All right, a little bit of stuff in there. This is usually the toilet. Yeah. Up in here. You got a nice little nest up here too, eh, you guys? It's so quiet out here, though. Like, there's nothing. I was fully expecting it to be crazy up here, but apparently not. Ooh, that's nice. Another crapper in the middle of the room. You got a nice little platform, not bad. It'd be nice to try and fortify this place. Yeah, nothing. Alright, well, I guess as long as they don't... Oh, wait. Anything in here? More toilets, eh? Sorry, but, uh... He's gonna put that in your medicine cabinet. <laughs> uh... Reminds me of... What the hell was it now? I <laughs> put that in there, too. Somebody was like... Oh, it was uh, Ali G. That was what it was. He's like... He's got, like, religious people on, on his show. Like, I think they were talking about, like, God or whatever. But he was like... He was talking to the one guy, and then he's like... Oh, uh, was it you? And the guy's like, what? He's like, was it you that left the floater in the... In the toilet. And he goes, because if it was, you know, you should just own up to it. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, what do you got for me? Alright, let's sell some stuff, though, first here. I think we're going to need money. Alright, so we made it a little cash, as you can see, which is good. So you got solar cells. Eight grand, eh? Holy crap, we need to make money. Crucible. Solar bank. For 2500 the cells are ridiculous. Well, let's just buy the solar bank. This is the secret stash, too. Oh, laser... Oh, 6,000. Or 60,000, I mean. Okay, well, at least we know we can get it here. She may not have it when we come back. But at least we know we can get it. Now, um... We could just buy a cheap-ass solar cell. Like, we'll buy one of these guys. Just so we've got, uh, got like, solar power happening and we, um, we can recharge all our batteries with it. Okay, not a lot in there. Not a lot in there. A lot of mods, though. Oh, we sold you most of these. Or at least half of them, anyway. Uh, ooh, a lot of steel, concrete, iron. Uh, calipers, repair kits, torches. Wow, it would really be really nice to find you, like, on day one. Just do missions for you. Gunpowder. I only got 20, though. I'm not going to buy the 20. Uh, tool and die sets. Wow, you're loaded down with some good stuff. Dart traps, electric fence posts. Yeah, you got 20. Uh, first aid kits. See, you got good health supplies, too. Anything big in here? Well, these are multi-tools, eh? Don't know if I can get them from her. I may have to find one. Uh... Thank you. Okay, um, do you got any jobs? So, what am I at? I'm still- I'm only at tier 3. We really gotta motor through these jobs. Alright, well... Let's go see the other trader then. So now that we know we need at least 60 grand... Actually, you know what? Before we do anything, um... How many skill points do I have? I got five. So... Oh, fuck off with your lightning. We got charismatic nature maxed out. What about better barters maxed out? All right, that's so we're already knocking it down as low as we can get it for buying, and then we've got a cigar too, right? Yeah. So unless we find like like even awesome sauce is not gonna not gonna give us enough to take that down to ah uh, maybe we're so close though like. 47. Awesome sauce gives us how much off? 
Does she have awesome sauce? You had something. Moonshine. Okay, uh... So okay. what's my total... I'm interested to know what my total is here for bartering, so... 25% better deal, so it's 25% better. Scavenging... 15% better, so it's 40% better. And then... This gives me what? 10. 50% better. So that's about 120 grand for... God, I'm looking at your crotch again. Um, where is it? Workbench, where are you? There you are. So it's probably about 120 grand. So it's 62 right now. So about 125,000 for that. So if we get 15% from a from a awesome sauce, which I think is 15%, that'll give us another do my head fast. Let's see 125, 15% of 125 is 3715, so another 1800 off, which would almost put it in the range of us being able to buy. All right, let's go see Goodbye. the other trader. Yeah, see ya. We got some stuff to sell. We'll go see the other Caitlyn. And if she's got an awesome sauce, which I don't think I can make yet, can I? I can't make it yet. So we gotta rely on her having one. Kind of have an idea where she is too. Oh, fuck off. It's not intuitive the way this car drives for backing up and going forward again. But I always get confused. It's like, which direction do I turn the mouse to be able to turn the car a certain way when I'm backing up and going forward again? Anyway, let's get to the, let's get to the other trader. Alright, we made it to the town she's in. I'm just having problems with loading here. I, was, I think I was driving too fast and it was like really chugging. Now I gotta find out where she is. I think she's on the edge of town, but I think she's on the right. I'm pretty sure she's on the right. Anyways, before we go back to that big bunker, the endgame bunker, I want to make sure we have the mission to go there. I just decided, like, as I'm trying to find, like, as I was driving here, I'm thinking, yeah, if we're gonna do it, we gotta do it the right way, so just because I know where it is, I'll just pretend I don't, and then... We'll wait until we get the mission to go there. Is she down here? Where is she? Yeah, and then I'll take the uh, the missions based on uh, whatever the uh, traders give us. So when we get back, we're going to start burning through missions to try and get um, up to the next level. There she is there. So I'm hoping that um, when we get to level four or level five, we'll get the mission to go find Caitlyn. And then hopefully she'll give us a mission to, uh... No, it's not a lot here. Hopefully she'll give us a mission to go where we need to go. Actually, do you have any missions? Yeah, you don't have any special jobs until I get to a certain point. So, can I see your inventory? And we'll buy some, you can buy some stuff off us here. Take those two. I think that's it. So, first things first, you got moonshine. You have awesome sauce. No. All right. Well, let's look for a laser multi tool then. Hopefully, we can get it. Wow. Tier 4 solar. <laughs> Tier 4 solar. Fusion forge. God damn, we need that too. So, we need money. I should, I should get the ability to make the awesome sauce and come back here. We're going to really need to push ourselves and to make money and stuff and get out here. Another solar bank. I have a feeling these are going to be easy to find, so I'm not going to bother buying that now. I wonder if we just buy a couple of cheap solar panels. Or buy, like, just for now to get our solar going. <sighs> Did 
There's the one. Where's the one that was up here? 5,500 for a tier 4. I mean, we could use it to recharge batteries with. And then just run battery power for now. Wow, you got a lot of gunpowder. And it's relatively cheap, so let's just buy it. Certainly better than 20 anyway. Uh, anything else here? No multi-tools? I don't know if... I think you have to find it. I don't think you can actually buy it. Double pocket, magazine extenders, polymers, nothing I really want. And... Not a lot here. I mean, shit, if I had, like, a lot of money... You could just buy, like, a ton of steel from her. Yeah, I think we're good. We can make all the first aid stuff and... Not a lot there either, eh? Food-wise, I'll buy your corn. We're here, we might as well. I'm gonna buy your eggs. Um, and let's have some pie for the ride home. Oh, learning elixir will buy that too. Um, yeah. You're welcome. Eat some pie and let's get the hell out of here. Actually, before we get the hell out of here, we might find something okay in these things. Okay, that works. Ah, axe. Nice. Better than what we have. Alright, let's get out of here. Actually, does this work? It does. That's what I want. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can find the road. If it goes south, like the main road, we'll take that. Because it looked like when we first came into this biome that it, it um, the road split. And I'm wondering if this kind of goes south and then it hooks up with the other road. Although it does not look that way. Because I don't see a road through town at all. I don't know what it is about this biome. How, I don't know, why is it so quiet? Why is it so quiet? There's like nothing around. Yeah, so the road ends here. So we got a fairly long drive back and we got to go buy those. Uh... Alright. Um, let's see if we can find some... What is that? Oh, that's the water treatment plant. Um, I wonder if there's any place here... To... Wait a minute. Does this go out of town? I have no idea where this goes. Wait a minute. This is where we came in on? It is, so it just kind of goes up that way. Book house. I probably shouldn't do this. Probably shouldn't do this. But we're gonna anyway. Let's grab. Right. There's some books in here we can get. Not dead. Is now. We got some shelves right here and here. And then I think there's some in this room back here too. There might be a safe. Sometimes there's an extra one right in here. I'm here in a Bernie boy. On the other side of that wall. Let's just stay quiet. And not wake his ass up. Ooh, these are a lot of bookshelves.
Yeah, there's only one in here, unfortunately. Any safes? Oh, no, there's three in here. Sometimes there's a... No, not today. Sometimes there's a safe behind there. Alright, let's just grab... What's in here? And then we can just scrap all of these guys. So that's not bad. Got about 20 of them, which is about 60 pages, so that's pretty good. No. Yeah, 60 pages. Hopefully. I did not mean to do that, but it looked cool anyway. Okay, day 60. So at least we know what we're up against now. We need to come back here with probably like 150,000 or more. So we're going to have to really bust our ass and make a lot of money. Most likely we're going to be coming back here after Horde. And I could make, I don't know how much a lot of like a weapons and stuff will sell for, but I, with all the weapon parts that I have, I could assemble a whole bunch of high level weapons and just sell those off as well. Like we could sell three to our trader. So if I make nine, I'll sell three to our trader, come here, sell three to the first Caitlyn and then three to the second Caitlyn and hopefully get enough to get a laser workbench, a fusion forge, if we can get that, that would be great. Ah, fuck. We're gonna just drive right by here. You see nothing. And then maybe we can buy a bunch of solar panels too. So, oh, yeah, you shoot, they're shooting at us already. So if we can get, like I said, about 150, 180,000 coins, that should get us enough for the Fusion Forge, the Laser Workbench, which we can't make either of them. Um... Still don't have a laser multi-tool, but we'll have to work on getting that. I think, I think, tier 5 buried supplies can give you that. And also you can find it in drops from high level mobs, so we'll have to start rinsing high level mobs. But we should be doing like a lot of quests, so hopefully we'll see a lot of those. Um, and it'll give us some practice with all our coil stuff. So we're going to be rocking the coil stuff. We're just going to blow into POIs, murder everything, get as much many quests done as we possibly can and leave before um, anything bad happens. But yeah, um, so if we can get a bunch of solar panels too, I want to get that some solar set up. But I gotta set it up so that when those winged demons, which you saw when we first were at that first portal, when those winged demons show up, they don't blow up these solar panels. So maybe we set it up so that we've got like one of those um, retractable uh, front like our front door like a powered front door that we can open up that's not during horde night and then our solar panels will be underneath it and then when horde night comes we just close it so they're at least protected from uh from flyers and accidentally hitting them you know but i'll set it up so try and set them up in such a way so that they won't hit them oh shit this thing I'm going to need to fix that. I should have checked what time it was, but judging from the sky, the sun's probably on its way out. We're probably like an hour or so away from nightfall, so we're going to head back home. I was going to try and take this road south here, but we can do that another time. We'll go south and we'll check out what's down there. There's probably a town down there. I mean, there has to be because it's a road, right? It should lead to a town down here. But like I said, you can see the sun's going down. So we're going to head straight home now. All right, here we are. This was the guy that was chasing us before. See ya. Back in our hometown. So first thing when we get back, we'll take a couple of missions. And uh, I'm going to stop buying anything from the trader unless it's like absolutely necessary. Yeah, it is crickets already. There's some of these zombies out of our town. Yeah, so the new, the new city that, uh, like on the large, super large map, the town occupies about the same footprint as this. It's probably bigger than the footprint of this town. 
but it's like every corner has got two or three buildings on it. It's like everything is just packed side by side, which is great. It's like a, what a city would be, you know? Uh, I don't know what the hell's up with that, but whatever. Alright, we'll park it right here. There's nothing in here that we want, right? Oh yeah, there is. Excellent. Oh! I planned it that way. Wait, what the fuck? Come on, close! Come on in! Line it up. Alright. Let's hope it closes. Beautiful. Alright, I'm going to harvest these crops, guys, and end the episode here. Um, when we come back tomorrow, I'm going to rebuild this base. We are going to take missions from the traders, but I think I want to get the base cleared up and ready to go. That way, all we have to do is just go out and do missions. So, I'll get all the repairs done, do as much as I can tonight. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just start doing the, the repairs at night. As much as I can before Horde starts. And then... Um, Whatever we need to finish up, we can finish up on uh, the day of the Horde, which would be day 63. So we got, what, 61, 62, and then 63. So two more days of, of questing, and then one day of building. All right, so I end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.